wars series of battles fought between humankind usually have dastardly effects however the bone wars actually had a huge plus side for humankind let's find out what exactly the bone wars didn't benefit for us the bone wars was a series of disputes between two paleontologists edward drinker cope and othniel marsh both very successful they each disputed with each other over the fact of who would discover more species of dinosaurs within a period of about 15 years this war took place in the late 1800s and they discovered about 140 new dinosaur species which benefited humankind so much let's find out more in detail about this war later on but first a little more about the two people who fought the war Othniel Marsh was much richer and had much more resources than Edward Drinker Cope and hence was named the winner of the bone wars as he discovered about 20 more dinosaurs than Cope could the both were first friends they met at berlin about 10 years prior to the war and sometimes even spent days together talking and researching about new types of dinosaurs they even dedicated some of their finds to the other person they were the thickest of friends until one day when cope made a mistake and accidentally put a tailbone where a head bone should be and marsh had a spy inside cope's camp and marsh called out cope for his mistake this sparked a dispute between the two paleontologists and the bone wars started these wars mounted even to the point where they used to send people into the opponent's camp and steal some bones marsh with 80 dinosaurs to his name died in 1899 nearly bankrupt he donated several tons of his discoveries to the smithsonian but had really less money as he spent all his money on the resources he sent to different places to dig he died with about 200 dollars in his bank due to several disease complications marsh discovered some of the most well known dinosaurs to this day This is a drawing I did when a couple of four, five years ago and a couple of the dinosaurs which he discovered are in this picture. An Allosaurus, a meat-eating dinosaur somewhat resembling a T-Rex like this. A Stegosaurus, a many-plated dinosaur. This is a Stegosaurus and a Pterodactyl, one of the most well-known flying dinosaurs. Marsh also discovered ancient skeletons of wild horses and this helped us identify how wild horses used to look like many years ago. Some dinosaurs discovered by Edward Drinker Cope include the Amphicelias, a huge dinosaur, colossal in fact, at about 120 feet. Some people even argue that this dinosaur is the biggest to ever exist. Number 2 the Lystrosaurus which in my fact is incredibly interesting as it's almost a mammal yet a reptile it is a relative of ancient humans and resembles a capybara a capybara is basically a huge rodent despite re- resembling a capybara it has scaly skin this dinosaur is by far one of my favorite as they intrigue me number 3 the champsosaurus the champsosaurus is an, is an aquatic dinosaur which somewhat resembles a gharial it is the size of about a caiman don't forget to subscribe for more such videos and remember i'm making more and more videos about india and its history celebrating 75 years of independence you don't want to miss that out do you